And Governor Snyder was in Flint today. He traveled to the home of TV5's Ronnie Duncan to talk about the water crisis and the impact on the people of Flint. It's an exclusive interview you'll only see right here on TV5. I mean, if you look at my history, Ronnie, I'm not a great politician in terms of I'm not a, a partisan person. I beat myself up. So this isn't a theoretical question. This is a real question. And I still have moments where I go back and do that. But in the end, that doesn't change the reality of today. Full of sincerity, full of regrets, Governor Rick Snyder expressing remorse for his handling of the Flint water crisis. He invited me to conduct a one-on-one -on -one interview with him today from my apartment this morning. It followed my recent story explaining the impact the Flint water crisis has had on my life. This water has had an effect on me seriously. So that gets us towards the point of not needing filters, hopefully, mm -hmm. at some point in the future. In the meantime, the filters were good. And that's one reason I, want to, I was excited to come sit with you. The governor's sales pitch to Flint residents may be tough for them to swallow. As far as City Hall goes, he insists he hopes the current relationship with Mayor Weaver improves soon starting with the allotment of $2 million to help improve the city's water system. Why is there a disconnect? And how can we get that connection yeah. going again? Because obviously there's one. I mean, you, yeah. you can say that there isn't. I mean, but, you know, you've had your people and their people, and all of a sudden okay. we get a lot of this. We, we, but, we've we've got to stop yeah. this because no. lives are being affected by this water yeah. crisis. No, I absolutely agree with that. No, the $2 million has been available for a few weeks. Um, and actually, I appreciate the city being careful with it, because I want them to be careful with it. In some ways, the 33 pipes, the 30-some pipes had to get done first, um, because that was the pilot program. So that's one reason why I would appreciate that they're not coming out yet. The 33 are done now, so this is where I'd hope, again, and again, the, 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 I'd say the same thing to the mayor is, I hope now she can ramp up her program to start taking out a lot more pipes. More than 60% of the population here in Flint is African American. You would have to admit, that's an area that you have to gain that trust. Because there are a lot of people that I talk to who go, man, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I don't see him. Oh, he went here. He went there. I need to see you. On the playground, in the area, we call it the hood. People want to see you there. What are you going to do to get there? Well, that's why I have been getting around. And that's why I've been trying to talk to people. That's why I was happy to come into your home. Yeah. That's why I'm looking forward to going to a restaurant. Um, actually, if you look at it, I'm liable to be in Flint three or four times this week. Wow. So, you know, you said that he was sincere, mm -hmm. at, you know, sitting down across from him. Do you really think he can rebuild the trust of the city of Flint? You know, you live there. I live there. That's all you hear is Governor Snyder. The thing Flint. about it is that it's going to have to take some time. And the thing about it is that as long as he can continue to be more sincere, communicate, go out to neighborhoods, meet people, talk to them, he has to be the best salesperson who says, guess what? Not only am I drinking this water, but I'm with you and we're going to fix this problem. It's not about the bureaucrats. Yeah. It's not about politics. Right. It's about people and people's lives are being at stake. Yeah. You know what, Ronnie? I think it was so amazing that not only do you cover it on a daily basis, the water crisis, you live the water crisis every day and you're able to give the governor your perspective. Mm -hmm. I think that was the one thing that he appreciated the most. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, he said, look, you shouldn't have to live in these conditions. No one should. So until you meet him one on one, you can walk away with a different theory. But I can tell you this much. I'm still staying on the bottled water until all of Flint feels that they're safe to drink the yeah. water. All right. Thank Ronnie, you for thank that. You for that report. Thanks a lot.